everyone, it's Lisa Sablehouse with the Sablehouse team of Remax Town Center and today's local love edition. We are going to be here in the Black Rock Center for the Arts located in Germantown's Town Center in Upper Montgomery County and you're in for a special treat. We're going to be speaking with Lynn and Katie about all the different programs that they have here for you to enjoy and it really is something that you must commit to seeing in 2022 if you have not been here yet. So today I am here at the Black Rock Center for the Arts, one of Montgomery County's premier gems that you may not know about. And we're gonna speak with Katie Hecklinger and she is the chief program operator here at the center. And I'm gonna let you take it away to describe where we are and what these beautiful things are around us. Well, welcome to the K Gallery. It's a gem. If you've never been to Black Rock Center for the Arts, the K Gallery is worth a stop and visit. Uh, right now we are featuring an amazing exhibition called Juxtapositions uh, and it involves a partnership of really three organizations. Troy Cowles is the artist that produced this exhibition for the K Gallery. Tori's work contrasts the harshness and roughness of life with these gorgeous materials. And really what she uh, sim symbolizes in her work is this idea of in really hard, challenging times, there is sort of profound beauty. <laughs> the invitation that we ask everyone that comes and visits this exhibition is to interact and play with it. You know, twirl around the scarves, uh, take a necklace off and, and wear it and invite you to sort of interact with these materials. So what we're super excited about is it really is an invitation for, for dancers and other artists to come and interact with the space. So we invited City Dance, yes, uh, another organization, pre-professional dancers that are extremely talented. Uh, one of the other things too is for adults, not just kids, but you have yoga programs mm -hmm. and other things that adults can participate in as well. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, really programming starts at age two with Tunes for Tots. It's sort of a mommy and me program and our classes go up to, you know, endless 105. Wow. <laughs> With, you know, virtual watercolor series. Uh, we have classes in virtual artist talks that accompany each uh, exhibition that we host. Private guitar, private piano lessons, yoga, hip-hop, step. Uh, we really have a diverse set of programming that no matter what discipline you're interested in, novice to expert, we really have something for everyone. Well, there truly is something for everyone here. So, well, thank you so much for giving <laughs> us a brief you. little overview. Appreciate it. Hope to see you soon. Thank you. So I'm here with Lynn Arndt, the CEO of the Black Rock Center, and she's going to explain to us a little bit about how the community and the artwork and the center itself is a piece of artwork. So Lynn, if you could just give us a, an overview of this beautiful lobby. Thank you, Lisa, and thank you for giving us a chance to tell the story of Black Rock. It was built 20 years ago. It was built at a time when this was all farmland, all farmland around us. And it was built by a community that was very dedicated to having a cultural arts center, Anchor Germantown. When you walk into our lobby, you will be stepping into, literally onto a mosaic. There is an ear of corn that greets you at the door with Seneca Creek to the left, the railroad to your right, and actually a circle with the original mill. Um, it's a beautiful space. It it's, really is. It's, it's lit so well, the natural, the natural lighting with the windows is gorgeous. It's almost spiritual at times when you walk into one of our galleries. Um, the building itself is anchored by five monoliths, which are which are literally casts that were buried at a local farm to absorb the dirt and rock of the community. So it, it's symbolic that these monoliths anchor our building, a building that literally is an anchor for the community. Absolutely. And as we know, you have so many programs from ages 2 to 102, 122, let's say. <laughs> we we do. All, we should be so lucky. We are actually um, a busy center. We're a cultural arts center. So we have three stages. We have the outdoor stage, which um, many people 
come to the free outdoor events. In the past, it was always summer concert series, but during COVID, we took our role so uh, seriously in trying to continue to create the community that was so important at a time where people felt isolated. So we had artisan markets. We had Friday nights, we featured local performers on our outdoor stage. We hosted a Hispanic heritage celebration. This was the second year and it was beautiful. It mixed artists and performers. Um, we had a little pumpkin festival with many of our local business partners and several thousand people came. Children were given free pumpkins. They crossed our stage for costume contests. We had a holiday market. We have, um, we continue performances on our stage, in right. our main stage and in our black box theater. Both of our galleries were open. So we are, are totally committed to bringing the arts to a community that needs it and that wants it. Absolutely, and I think all of us know that isolation isn't good for people, for humans. And the fact that this uh, the center has stayed open and has been a resource for people to come and to view art and to participate in that and to keep our minds open during uh, these very challenging times is, um, is just a true testament to your leadership and the community coming together to, to make sure that this still does well, keep happening. I have to give full credit to an incredibly talented staff Sure. that have found ways to engage children in our camps and classes, to engage, um, we are actually going to be the home of Johns Hopkins Osher University for their continuing education. There are many new initiatives. The There were many challenges thrown at us throughout COVID, but at every single point, the staff kept working to continue to bring the arts in new and more relevant ways. So I'm very proud of the work they've all done. I'm sure you are. Well, this is a beautiful facility, and if you haven't had the chance to come here and check out the Black Rock Center, right here in the Germantown Town Center on Century Boulevard, you really owe it to yourself and your family to come and give it a try. They have performances all throughout the year, uh, inside, outside, galleries you can walk through. You really don't want to miss this great gem that we have right here in Montgomery County.